Ladies and gentlemen, Microsoft just did something that sounds like it was ripped straight from a cyberpunk fever dream. They've unveiled a quantum computing chip called the Myorona One, and they claim it operates on an entirely new state of matter. Yeah, as if solids, liquids, gases, and plasma weren't enough, now we've got topological superconductors. This sounds like something Tony Stark would cook up in his garage. If this isn't just another Microsoft Clippy level flop, it could be the biggest computing breakthrough since the transistor. And I don't say that lightly. The transistor scaled classical computers to process millions of bits, but this new topo computer could scale to millions of qubits without collapsing into a hot quantum mess. If they pull this off, we're talking quantum computing billions of times faster, unlocking the holy grails of AI, drug discovery, cryptography, and most importantly, Windows updates that don't hijack your computer for hours at the worst possible time. So how does this magic work? Well, it all comes down to a particle called the Majorana fermion, which was predicted in 1937, but wasn't actually observed until 2020. Microsoft actually tried to claim they found it back in 2018, but then had to retract their paper because, well, the scientific method still exists. But fast forward to now, and they're saying not only did they find them, but they figured out how to control them. Which is kind of like saying you didn't just discover unicorns, you also train them to work at Starbucks. Here's why this matters. Quantum computers today are basically divas. Qubits are ultra-sensitive and lose their quantum properties the moment they interact with the environment. Imagine trying to balance a Jenga tower on a moving roller coaster while a toddler throws Legos at you. That's quantum decoherence. But Majorana fermions don't have that problem. They're weirdly resistant to decoherence meaning they might finally make quantum computers practical instead of glorified science experiments. Microsoft's chip uses topological conductors, a semiconductor-superconductor hybrid where Majorana fermions can be braided together in a way that makes qubits more stable. Think of it like quantum Lego, except instead of falling apart at the slightest touch, they actually hold together. This could let us build quantum circuits that don't require an army of error-correcting algorithms just to function for more than five seconds. But before you start rewriting your entire code base in Q-sharp, yes, Microsoft made their own quantum programming language because of course they did, let's talk about the catch. Right now, the Myrona 1 is still a prototype. Microsoft claims it can scale up to millions of qubits, but they haven't actually done that yet. Meanwhile, companies like Google and IBM are already running computations on real quantum hardware. Microsoft is betting that their approach will leapfrog the competition in the long run. But for now, it's all theoretical. So what does this mean for us programmers? Well, quantum computers don't work like classical ones. Instead of flipping between zero and one, qubits exist in multiple states at once. This means that traditional programming techniques? Yeah, throw them out the window. We're talking a complete rewrite of algorithms. If Microsoft actually delivers, we'll need new ways to think about computing, from machine learning to cybersecurity, even to gaming physics. Should you start learning quantum programming right now? Eh, or probably not, unless you're ready to spend the next five years debugging entanglement errors instead of null pointer exceptions. But keeping an eye on this? I'd sorry, absolutely. So what's the verdict? Microsoft's Myrona 1 is either the dawn of a new computing revolution, or just another overhyped tech stunt that'll fizzle out like Microsoft's Windows Phone. But if it works, we could see AI models that make today's GPT-4 look like a toddler with an Etch-a-Sketch, cryptographic security so strong even the NSA would have nightmares, and maybe, just maybe, a future where Windows updates don't hold your computer hostage. But what do you think? Is Microsoft about to change the world, or is this just quantum vaporware? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed this deep dive, smash that like button, subscribe for more cutting-edge tech content, and I'll see you in the next one.